Tony Hawk, Jet Set Radio, and Hunger Games all smashed into one. Think about that for a second. Now, think about that translated into a brand new game. That is exactly what we're talking about today. Hey there, friends, it's Kodiak here. Welcome back to Legacy Gaming. Today, we're checking out one of the most interesting titles of 2022, Roller Drone, to find out if it's worth your time. So here's the deal. At the start of every year, Livid and I sit down and talk about what games we want to cover, how we want to cover them, and map out the next 12 months so we can have a sense of the timing of our content. Now, occasionally, things go off the rails, and we find ourselves changing course, especially when something pops into our inbox that looks promising. If you've never heard of Rollerdrome, I don't blame you. It definitely has flown under the radar, but if you're looking for something different, something fresh, something completely out of left field, well then, my friends, this game is for you. So as you can see, Roller Drum is a completely unique looking game. We've seen this comic book inspired art style known as cell shading before, most recently with a game called Sable, but this time something about it actually resonated with me. It felt like it perfectly accompanied the retro futuristic dark dystopian setting and paired well with the action. Now looks alone have never, ever been the singular factor that sells us on a game. So while I did have one foot in the door, it was up to roll seven, the developers, to get me the rest of the way there. And damn it, did they deliver. All right, so let's break this thing down and put some words to the action. Roller Drome is a third-person skater shooter. Yes, you heard me right. You play as Kara Hassan, an entrant into the Roller Drome, a Hunger Games style event where you either kill or be killed. While not quite as buttery smooth as Tony Hawk Pro Skater, moving around each of the unique arenas brought me back to my childhood. Landing tricks left and right, hopping gaps, flipping like a bat out of hell. I mean, this is an experience I can get down with. Add in a few guns and a Max Payne inspired bullet time mode, this is a game I never thought I wanted. I have no idea who's asking for this game, what the demographic is, how it'll be received commercially, but what I can tell you, and let's just get this out of the way now, Roller Drome is absolutely worth your time. The game manages to strike a perfect balance. The gameplay is smooth, the action cathartic, and the progression simple and satisfying. You start out going through a bit of a tutorial, and while the controls were straightforward, this is one of those games where you'll want a clear introduction because it's so different. Before long, I was flying around arenas, flipping upside down, and filling house players, that's the name of the enemies in the game, with lead. The better you skate, the more tricks you land, the faster your ammunition refills, and you better pick it up quick because if you're too slow at killing, well then things can get a bit overwhelming. What I truly appreciated about Roller Drum was that the developers didn't just throw skating and guns together. They really thought through the entire experience, adding this almost puzzle layer to the game that helps glue the entire thing together. As you progress opening up new arenas, you'll gain access to new guns and face new enemies. What I love though is that those new guns aren't immediately the meta, they're just new tools for dispatching certain enemies. You might think that the grenade launcher is the best at taking out everything, but in fact, your trusty dual pistols and shotgun are a solution to specific problems, and that's the sort of smart action I instantly vibed with. That same thoughtfulness also applies to the level design and enemy spawn points. The team uses verticality to great effect, and as you unlock new arenas, your skills are really put to the test as you have to maneuver trickier layouts and combat enemies that are much further out of reach. As with most games, the more you play, the better you get, and when it comes to Roller Drome, it's pretty clear when the pieces are starting to click into place. You'll start by bumbling around the map, stringing together moves that really aren't that graceful, but get the job done. After a few hours, all those bumps smooth to a polish, and you're connecting kill after satisfying kill with big air and insane tricks. To be clear, it's not really about one thing or the other. I think games like Tony Hawk have done skating better, and third-person shooters, well, pick your poison, have done shooting better. But when you combine those two things and layer on a perfectly themed soundtrack, what you get is simply brilliant.
Another big surprise with the game was the retro-futuristic dark dystopian narrative and the small first-person sections that accompany certain parts of the game. The further along you progressed in the roller drone, the more you realized something's not quite right in the world. And once again, the developers were incredibly smart in telling that story. No flashy cutscenes or big CGI moments, just simple exploration and discovery that help fill in all the gaps and explain why you're in the situation that you're in. Truth be told, this might not be for everyone, and if you want, you can skip this aspect of the game. But if you do want to know more about the world you're in, there's that option. And I, for one, appreciate it. What also helps glue the entire roller drum experience together is the way the developers push you to complete tasks. This, and I hate to sound like a broken record here, feels like another Tony Hawk moment. Things like complete this grab by the trick token or rack up a 20x combo all give you additional things to strive for during each round. You're going to most likely check off a few during your runs naturally, but those lingering challenges, the ones left undone, give you a good reason to go back in and take another crack at an arena. Challenges act as a simple gateway to the next set of arenas, and as you'd expect, the difficulty of the challenges ramps up significantly as you progress within the game. Luckily, this never felt like much of a hindrance as getting in and replaying a mission is quick and painless. A simple menu interface combined with a relatively short mission time, somewhere between 5 to 15 minutes depending on how skilled you are, proved to be the perfect formula when it comes to the game. So to recap, Roller Drum is a third-person skater shooter that combines fast-paced action with thought-provoking gunplay that challenges players to think, skate, and shoot. The game starts off simple and straightforward, but the constant layering of new enemies and more intricate arenas creates a quick ramp up in challenge. If I had to knock the game for anything, and I say this trying to think top to bottom about my experience, it would be the replayability. The game is designed to be replayable, don't get me wrong, but that replayability has a shelf life, and I can see a good number of people playing through the game pretty quickly and then shelving it. Now that's not necessarily a bad thing, as they would have a great experience along the way, but unless there's some post-launch content or Roller Drum 2 being planned, I don't see many people sinking thousands of hours into the title. And honestly, that's okay. Let me be crystal clear. Roller Drum doesn't need any of that. The experience, short as it is, is incredibly fun and felt like something new, and God knows we need that in the video game world. The title isn't bogged down by bloaty systems, old tropes, or any of the amenities we've come to know and honestly hate from modern games. It's simply a fun ride that says, you know what, we're going to do this our way. So while I said it before, it bears repeating. Roller Drome is absolutely worth your time. If you're looking for something different, this is the game for you. You can pick it up August 16th for around 20 bucks on Steam, PS4, and PS5. Latest reports indicate that there are no plans to bring the title to Xbox or Switch, but I imagine that could change if the sales are there. Now, of course, if you did find this worth your time review helpful or enjoyable, do me a solid and hit that thumbs up and consider subscribing. There are still plenty of games coming out in 2022, and if you're looking for new takes on some of the year's biggest titles, we've got you covered. We also invite you to join us on Discord. We've got a great group of around 20,000 members, so if you're looking for a new community to interact with, check out the link in the description and join today. Finally, if you like everything we're doing here at Legacy Gaming and you want to support us even more, you can do so by becoming a member. For just a few bucks, you're helping evolve the channel and take our community to that next level. Check out the join button below to learn more. My name is Kodiak, and from everyone here at Legacy Gaming, thanks for watching and play on.